This video is for market managers looking to add new farmers or vendors to their local Orbit account. So I'm the market manager for the Wabasha Farmers Market. The first thing that I see upon logging in is my dashboard. When you want to add a farmer, you're going to click Market Admin and go to Organizations. From your organization, you're going to click Add Organization on the right side of the screen. This is going to ask you if you're in for multiple, I'm, I'm the manager for multiple markets, so I have a drop down but it's gonna add, allow you to add many different organizations that you can. So I wanna add Charlie Brown, the farmer. If you're adding him as a farmer, you're gonna give him the option to sell products. Every single organization that you add is able to buy products. So Charlie Brown, the farmer, is able to sell products as well. If I know Charlie Brown's Facebook page or Twitter account, I can add that. We can update their profile picture, um, but really that's Charlie Brown's responsibility. So we're gonna leave that there. I do wanna state that um, we, as market managers, have the option to choose if they're active right away we have the option to allow credit cards and purchase orders. What that means is because Charlie Brown is a buyer, <clears throat> we're gonna make him prepay with a credit card. However, if we trust Charlie Brown to place orders and pay for them on site at the market, or we can have what, seven day terms or 14 day terms, whatever that may be, then we would click to allow purchase orders for Charlie Brown. I'm the manager for multiple sites as we go through this aggregation progress. So right now I'm gonna state that Charlie Brown is able to do purchase orders and that he is a member of the Wabasha Farmers Market. I'm going to, this is where you can click any one of those markets that he's associated with. <clears throat> For Charlie Brown, we're gonna wanna give an address label. And this is gonna be the Brown Family Farm. And his address is one, two, three, let's do Sesame Street. He's located in Pepin. We're going to say Minnesota, even though that's not correct. Um, just so that you get an idea. 54610 sounds good. Sure. Um, the contact name for this account is, whoops, sorry, Charlie Brown. And Charlie's phone number, 1234567. Seven eight nine one. Charlie Brown's email address is going to be added next. Charlie Brown at gmail.com. And then any notes that you decide you'd like to add in regards to Charlie Brown. This is automatically, you click add organization and it's going to add Charlie Brown, the farmer, and, that, and it's gonna tell you that Charlie Brown's been created. That does not mean that Charlie's been notified. Even though we added Charlie Brown into the account, we have to click on users, and we're gonna invite charliebrown at gmail.com to join us by clicking invite new user. Now Charlie has been invited. If he claims he hasn't been invited and he reaches out to you, you're gonna click reinvite. And if Charlie Brown is doing um, activities that you just have to remove his account, you're gonna suspend it or delete his account. 
as a market manager, you have the capability of editing Charlie's account. I do want you to notice under addresses, the address that we put in automatically pulls over to the addresses tab and marks that as the default billing and the default shipping for his account. It pulled over the information that we added for his telephone number and his email. Oops, Brown family. And um, so this is for when Charlie, the buyer, decides to place an order, not necessarily the farmer. Um, so when he wants to make some purchases, he's gonna use this default billing address or the default shipping address. One other thing to note is the default shipping address here um, is gonna be the address that shows up as a dot on the um, about tab for the farmer's market. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So for your farmer's market, all these dots are populated by that shipping address. So each one of the dots represents Charlie Brown is here listed as a farmer. So each one of these dots represents different farms that are working with the Wabasha Farmers Market on the aggregation project. Those dots are gathered from Charlie Brown's information on his organizational tab. So to find that, I clicked on about, but that's automatically populated in there. So I'm gonna go back to the, oh goodness, there's two Brown family farms. Um, but I'm gonna go to Charlie Brown the farmer. So that was the address. You can make the billing address and the shipping address different just by simply clicking add new address. And you can put a new address in there. Keep in mind that the address label I'm gonna keep it Brow Family Farms. That's gonna be the name, and this is gonna be that one, two, three, Sesame. Oh, it's gonna be a separate one because we already have one, two, three, Sesame Street, but you understand what we're looking at. Um, and it didn't save it because it can't be blank, which is just fine. I just wanted to show you that you can add an address. Payment methods, the very next tab for adding a farmer is the payment methods. And this is so that your farmer is able to make purchases such as um, say they want to buy 20 pounds of tomatoes to do some canning. They're gonna be able to do that by adding a credit card account in here. Local Orbit will store that credit card and allow Charlie Brown to make purchases from any one of the local farmers. Cross-selling, we do have cross-selling available at several farmers markets throughout the state. Cross-selling is where not only does Charlie Brown have the availability of selling at the Wabasha Farmers Market, but he also sells at Lake Pepin Local Food Group, and he's able to make those sales at Lake Pepin Local Food Group just by selecting that in the cross-selling button. As the market manager, you are seeing more than what the farmer is able to see. So keep in mind that when I'm walking through this video, I'm walking it through as a manager setting up Charlie Brown. If you have any questions, please reach out to any one of us on the project team. This is the end of the video about adding a farmer or a vendor into local orbit. Thank you.